my channel. So in this video today, I do this Valentine's Day look. I feel like I can't get my words out. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm doing a Valentine's look and I've gone for this pink halo eye look. If you want to see how I created it, then please continue watching and remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll give this video a like if you enjoyed it as well and hopefully I'll see you all soon. Bye. So first I'm gonna go in with this bright pink color from Morphe Brushes and the James Charles collaboration. And it's a bright pink and it's in the shade Skip. And I'm using my Real Techniques. I think this is the a uh, crease shadow brush, I'm not quite sure. Uh, but I'm just using that brush just to pack the colour on first onto my eyelids and then I'll go in, in a bit later and just use little circle motions just to blend the edges of that colour out. So as you can see, I'm just starting to blend this in and working this from the inner corner to the outer corner of my eye. I didn't want to bring it too far up into the brow bone because I wanted to have a halo look to this eye and I wanted to apply another colour onto there as well. So as you can see I'm just slowly trying to blend that in and I'm trying to keep most of the clips in a normal pace rather than speeding it all up just so that you can see the process of what's happening here. Once I feel like I've blended that pink colour out, I then went in with a bit more of the shade, just packing it all on again, because when you blend the colour out, you do lose some of its intensity, intensity, and I wanted to keep that pink colour still there, I didn't want it to be a baby pink. So I'm now going to go into my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, and the colour I'm using is Tongue Pop, I need to come into the focus. So I'm using Tongue Pop, and this is going to be my transition colour. I'm just using a Morphe blender brush here just to blend the pink in as well as transition the tongue pop colour into it so it's not all one block colour, it's all blended in seamlessly. And again I'm just bringing that skip colour from the James Charles palette again just to deepen up that pink because again you do miss some of that intensity from the colour when blending it all out. Next up I'm going in with Canvas which is a pale it's sort of like my skin tone but with a peachy undertone in it um, so I'm just applying this under my brow bone just in case I went a bit too far with the colour and it just cleans up a bit more for you so with this halo look I'm now going into the blood sugar palette and going into the dark purple colour which is coma and I'm just using my Real Techniques uh, I think this is a crease brush because it's quite dense and rounded. So I'm just packing that colour in. Um, I will mention that I did go into the palette quite a few times, um, mainly because I didn't want a lot of fallout on my face, um, but also by applying this a bit at a time, it just helps with the blending process because with the darker colours, it can be quite difficult to blend the colours. So for the inner corner part of my eye, I went in with a soft crease <laughs> a soft crease brush from Makeup Geek just so that I can get into that inner corner area rather than missing some bits out. And I'm slowly just bringing this in to the top of my crease as well. So now to cut the crease I'm using this round tip brush. I'm not sure what brush it is, I think I got it from Wilkinson's. But anyways I went in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and as you can see, I'm just going in little sections at a time to cut the crease in a halo shape because once you apply too much crease, too much concealer rather, it's quite hard to then blend the colours back in. So I'm just taking my time, just patting it, going in little sections at a time and then when I'm happy with it, you'll then see me going in with a shimmery shadow. <laughs> So when you're happy with the shape of your cut crease or for your halo eye, 
and then went in with that crease brush from Real Techniques and I didn't have any additional product on my brush um, from that coma shade and all I'm doing is just blending out the outer edges of that concealer just so it doesn't look so harsh and also applying it on the top of where I cut the crease line and this will just help it give it a more of a cut look rather than just wandering on your eyelid. So I'm now going in with Candy Floss, which is a baby icy pink colour from Jeffree Star's Bud Sugar Palette. So I'm just applying that with the same brush that I used for the concealer as well. Again, working in small sections at a time and making sure that I'm cutting the crease right at the top by laying the brush down flat on my eyelid. And again, I'm just picking up those two brushes from Makeup Geek and Real Techniques just to blend those edges out. And I'm just going backwards and forwards with all those brushes and the two shades in the palette just to make sure that everything is fully blended. So next up, I thought I wanted a bit more of a colour. Um, to be honest, I think I didn't want to put this colour down but I just applied it anyway. So this was from the James Charles palette and I think, I'm not quite sure what the shade is, but I've written it down there anyway. So next up, I'm gonna add the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Glue, and I'm using a MAC Cosmetics pigment in the shade Vanilla, just so I wanted a bit more of a sparkle in the eyelids. Um, I didn't want it to be quite flat, so I added that color right in the center and up to the top of the crease as well. So now I'm just gonna add a bit of highlight to my brow bone, and again, I'm using that same shade from Jeffree's palette, which was Candy Floss, and then just using that big fluffy brush from Morphe just to blend everything. So to tight line, I'm using Urban Decay's Perversion Liner, and then for my liquid eyeliner, I went for Maybelline's one. I'm not quite sure what this one's called, but it's just a normal felt tip pen. For my lashes, I went in with L'Oreal Lash Paradise for the top lashes and I go in with, I think about two or three coats because I don't tend to wear eyelashes. And then for my bottom lashes, I went in for the Angel Push Up just because the brush is very skinny and slim and it just grabs onto all my lashes on the lower lash line. Now you probably noticed that I forgot to apply the lower lash eyeshadows. So I first went in with that Skip Colour from James Charles's palette and then you'll see me going into the outer corner of the eye with the shade Coma from Jeffree Star. And again, just reapplying that bottom lash line. Bottom lash, oh, bottom lash mascara. So next for the inner corner of the eye, I wanted a bit more glitter. So I went in with the Stila glitter pigments um, that which have glitter in it and glue mixed in and I went in with the shade Kitten Karma. So once I applied all my eyeshadow I then look at my skin so here I am just bronzing everything up and applying extra highlighter because I think once you've done your full makeup you can then see what needs adding and what needs you know adjusting. So for the lip I went in with a bright pink colour and this one is from Lime Crime and this is in the shade True Love. So this is basically the look guys, hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching this tutorial, um, leave your comments down below of what you thought of it and I've got another one lined up as well so hopefully I'll have that one up for you soon. If you liked this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. Thank you, bye!